Good evening and welcome to BBC Points West. Our headlines tonight, the million pound contract for a West Country inventor who's developed a new water bottle for hospitals. A Bristol businessman has been awarded almost a million pounds for an invention which could stop hospital patients suffering from dehydration. The water bottle system will be tried out in 50 NHS trusts after it was found to improve health for those undergoing operations. Scott Ellis reports. They say the simplest ideas are often the best, and a water bottle with a handle and a long plastic straw is no exception. Jack would recommend it. It means that you've got a drink, you know. The man behind the bottle is Bristol businessman Mark Moran. He hit on the idea after a back operation. I, I mean, I could wave my arms around, but I couldn't reach because I couldn't move. To, to get the drink, to get the jug, to get the cup. And even if I could, I was flat on my back. So yeah, I was reliant on other people to pour drinks down me, which was a horrible experience for me and for the, and for the staff. Jack would have trouble lifting the water jug. He may also feel that nurses are too busy to help. The problem is, if a patient dehydrates, their health may worsen. One of the main things are urinary tract infections, which is a major thing that patients come in with. And of course they can become very poorly if they, if they get to an, a stage where they can go into renal failure from not actually having enough to drink. Two deaths a day in the NHS are related to dehydration. 22-year-old Kane Gorney died in a London hospital in 2009 for want of a drink. He'd even called 999 from his hospital bed, telling officers he was being denied water. Mark Moran says trials have proved the bottles can help. There was a 100% reduction in urinary and wound infections. There was a 20% reduction in length of stay. And, and when, you, when you gather all that evidence together, it, it effectively works out that if you spend one pound on a hydrant, there's a 16 pound return in cost savings. Great Western is also monitoring patients' fluid intakes more closely now. They're keen to get the bottles used at home too. Nine out of ten of their elderly patients arrive at the hospital with a problem related to dehydration. Scott Ellis, BBC Points West. The things I've liked most are the very, very simple things that are just so easy to do. Um, and one of the ones that I saw recently um, that I just thought, you know, that's something is uh, a simple system. This one's called the hydrant for just making sure patients in hospital beds can drink the damn water that we give them. You know, the, uh, the impact of dehydration on patients' wellness is extraordinary. It's extraordinary. We contribute massively to some of our core indicators about death, about outcome, about length of stay, just from whether the water is consumed or not, whether elderly frail patients are hydrated or not. And I mean, you like me will have seen committed, vigorous, caring staff putting the, putting the water by the bed, putting the water in the cup and the patient not able to drink it until uh, the other member of staff comes to clean that away. Uh, and it's fantastic to see very, very simple ideas, uh, cheap, easy to implement, tackling the most basic problems. Potentially one of the ideas with the highest return to investment ratio I've ever seen. The hydrants were introduced on one of our wards, um, which was Jupiter Wards. We had a great team that were very, very enthusiastic. They realised the importance of hydration for their patients and also promoting their independence as well. I find it very easy to use. It means I can get drink when I need it instead of pressing a buzzer for somebody to come and help me have a drink. The patients love it, absolutely fantastic feedback from them. They find it's great because they're more independent. They can see the measurements on the side to see how much they're actually drinking at a time as well. So that's really good. It's very easy to use. Families have really liked it because they, they've commented on it and say, oh, what a good idea, you know, it's a wonder that hasn't been thought of years ago and, and so on. And also, it's much easier for the patient to locate it, that they can just pick it up, put it to their mouth if it's a sports bottle, and if it's the hydrant, that's clipped near to their mouth. So it's easy for them to have a drink overnight. 
They love the independence and they find they don't have to ask a nurse. They can reach the water themselves. You can change the tube every day. Patients that have been on Jupiter War previously that have come back in quite quickly, you know, they want on those hydrants again. So we're getting quite a lot of people come up to the wards asking for it. So there's a lot of other wards in the hospital that are really keen to use it. They can have a drink when they want. They don't have to wait for the nurses to come round. They've got more independence. Their fluid balance can be looked at better because the measurement's down the side. They don't spill it over themselves. It's really made quite a big difference to a lot of the patients on the ward. The doctors have also commented on how better our input charts are being kept and how strict they are. Whereas there was differences. Some people were calling a glass of water 150. Some people were calling it 200. And what's in a cup? We've been able to put ice into these bottles and other orange juices, whatever they want into them, and they're drinking more from me. I think that sometimes with patients, if they, they can't get an adequate amount of water because they can't always access it lots and lots of times during the day, the good things about using the hydrant or, or the sports bottle is the fact that we could cut out the use of so many drips that we have with normal saline in it and so on to hydrate the patient. That brings its own risks when you're actually giving somebody something intravenously, you're bringing in more infection to the patient because you're having to, to cannulate them. And so by using something simple like the water hydrant, and if you're not having the use of drips, then you're going to cut out the risk of infections in that way as well. A lot of the patients who can't help themselves to a drink and things, it's really reduced their needs for IV fluids and antibiotics. Some of our patients, for instance, the Parkinson's patients, where they like to have fluid little and often. Well with this system they can have little sips because very often they have the, the mouth will get dry because of their medications or just because of the way they are with their illness and it's been really useful for that. So they, it might not be a fact that we're monitoring their, their fluid intake but the fact that they're having little sips of water and they're making them comfortable. If nursing homes had it, residential homes had it and they had people had it at home with their carers I think you wouldn't get as many frail elderly people coming in with, you know, dehydration and everything like that. I think it really needs to be out there. They see that at least we're trying. We're, you know, we're trying our very best to make sure our patients get enough to drink. Patients become more mobile, they can become more independent, and they can go home quicker. We're the type of ward that likes to try innovations and, and new ways of doing things and better ways of doing things to, to improve the care of the patients. I've loved it. A new device aimed at cutting the number of patients who die from dehydration while in hospital is being trialled in Scunthorpe. The device makes it easier for patients to drink and it's been invented by a man from Grimsby. Tara Welsh reports. Dehydration caused 111 deaths in hospitals in 2011. It was also a factor in 669 deaths in the same year. That's why combating the problem is crucial for NHS managers. Each one of these costs £6 and then about a pound to maintain each day. But it's hoped they'll more than pay for themselves because keeping patients hydrated will allow them to leave hospital more quickly. Why spend money on something when it's a nurse's job to help people and to, you know, give them water? It is a nurse's job to help people and we would not stop that at all. But some patients, particularly the, the elderly, um, like to maintain their independence for as much as they can. And we're hoping that this is a way of them actually being able to maintain that um, whilst keeping their dignity. A simple solution to a serious problem. How to make sure patients get enough to drink. So do you think it will help you drink more than what perhaps it you were will, doing It will, yes. Home? It's up to doctors and nurses to make sure people aren't thirsty. But as Jean's had a stroke, she would have to call a nurse every time she wants a drink. Well, I think it's very, very good. It's easy to use. It's the best thing since sliced bread. 